I think that it has truly produced buyers that we wouldn't have otherwise had. First time and repeat home buyers get an incentive to purchase a home. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Nicole Kahn. Thanks for being here with us tonight. The Home Buyers Tax Credit Program has been extended and expanded. Matt Reidenauer got an added bonus when he bought his home in West Lafayette. He qualified for a $7,500 first time home buyers tax credit. We definitely saved some, and then we definitely did what, uh, what President Obama told us to and uh, went out and stimulated the economy, especially the local economy. Reidenauer bought furniture for the new home with the money he got back. That's such a big purchase. The deadline to qualify for the tax credit of up to $8,000 was November 30th. The government now extended the cutoff date to April 30th, 2010. The tax credit doesn't just apply to first-time home buyers. In fact, it also is for those who have lived in their home for five years or more and are now looking to move. Well, now we're allowing other buyers to get in on the tax credit um, up to $6,500 for a repeat buyer. Or it could be a young couple moving up or it could be a mature couple wanting to downsize. Managing broker for Coldwell Banker Shook, Luann Heitert, says she believes the longtime resident buyer's credit will encourage more people to purchase a home just as the first time home buyer's credit did. I think that it has truly produced buyers that we wouldn't have otherwise had. The first time home buyers and the longtime resident buyer's credits come with some restrictions but most buyers will be able to apply for the money. The majority of people do qualify. There are income limits on it, you know, but they're pretty high income limits. The tax credit has been extended for five months, but realtors say don't wait if you're looking to buy. Buyers can claim the credit on either their 2009 or 2010 tax return.